Hello, I'm Nicole Northgarden, and this is my cross stitch updates. It's floss tube number eight. Here we go. Hello, you all. I hope you're doing well. It has been a while since I've filmed a cross stitch update. I think the last video I posted was in April. Sorry to have disappeared, but I literally wasn't stitching, so there was nothing to update you on. Um, so there's a reason for that, I, which I will explain. Um, yes, so starting in May, well, I knew I was um, my job was being eliminated. I was given several months of notice on that. So starting in May, I started really looking uh, for a new job, like really, you know, going at my search. Um, so that started in May. And so I really didn't stitch a lot in May and I didn't stitch at all. And I'm not even exaggerating at all in June. So in May, I think I managed to catch up on my temperature stitch, which is completely falling behind now. Um, and then June, I just didn't pick anything up because I was completely preoccupied, but good things are happening on the job search front, which I can update you on maybe next video. Um, but things are starting to settle down and I'm able to pick up my stitching again. Um, so that's really good. So today I'm going to show you two new starts, which are also two of my whips, two of the things I've been working on, and then um, uh, some other whips. And then I don't have any finishes, but I do have two um, little things like a haul, not really a haul, but two things I want to show you that I got from Hobby Lobby. So um, let's go ahead and start. Also, I chipped a nail. I never paint my nails because they, it's too much work to maintain them. And then this summer I was like, oh, my girls are always painting their nails. I was like, I think I want to have painted nails. And, and, and this is why, because now I'm filming and I have a chip nail and it's like, well, I'm not going to not film because I have an opportunity to film, but I just, I have a chip nail. So we're all just going to have to cope with that. Also, I have a blemish right here, right on my lip. It's fabulous. So if you um, see that, that's what that is. It's not a fever sore. It's a blemish just decided to pop up right there. So, okay. So I, I'm going to be really honest. I didn't watch my April video to figure out, uh Oh, hold on. Sorry. My son called me. I had to pick it up. Okay. So yes. Oh, okay. What I was saying is I have no idea where I was at in April. I don't have the time to watch it back and like put pictures up to compare. I, I can't even, uh, cause it was so long ago. It almost doesn't even matter. <laughs> So I'm going to show you what I've actively been working on um, and one that I don't know if I ever updated you on this one. So I really, I'll start with that one um, and then, yeah, we'll just go from there. So it's like a fresh start, you know? Okay. The first thing I wanted to update you on, and I don't know if I did this in April and I actually don't know if I've worked on it since then, but I can't remember if I updated you. So just bear with me if I didn't, if I already did this. Um, okay. So if you recall, uh, I had asked you all, um, how I should fill. So I designed this sampler, um, to represent like my, my marriage with my hubby, um, back in 1997. And I probably designed it probably in 1998 and I stitched it and then I left that band right here, um, open. Cause I was always like, Oh, what do I want to do there? Never really figured it out, but then I just never did it. And then it was just this blank spot forever. Um, so I kind of took a poll from all of you and got ideas. And several of you said that I should do something to represent our family because what's cool is when I originally designed this, we, it was just me and Chris and then we had children, you know? So, which is probably why I didn't finish it then. <laughs> Cause I was busy having babies. Um, anyway, so I decided to go along those lines. And so I just designed, whoa, everything's magnetic to my little needle minder is pretty magnetic. Um, so I designed using a book, um, that I had gotten out of the library. I just designed this little representation of our family and above everyone's head, I put their birth year and I kind of, um, as far as their sizes, I, I, designed it to be the way they were when we moved to Minnesota. So when we moved to Minnesota, it was 2007. Maddie was turning eight. Molly was six, I guess, or she was about to turn seven. Um, Hannah was two and Gabe was five, I guess. So anyway, so ba the heights are kind of based on what they would have been like when we moved here. Um, yeah, so I think that's really cool and cute. And this is what, where I've gotten so far with it. Um, I haven't picked it up since I started stitching again, because honestly, it's not my favorite thing to stitch on. I don't love the colors. 
it's all very 1997. This is like the colors that my house was in 1997. Nothing wrong with the colors. It's just like, I guess I don't feel like in any hurry to finish it because I don't even know where I'll put it because <laughs> it does not go with my style now. Um, it's very like country, you know, and jewel tones. But anyway, I am going to finish it just to finish it and maybe frame it and hang it in our hallway with our like our family photos or something. Um, but I wanted to update you all because everyone, you know, was so kind to make suggestions. And um, yeah, and I did take them to heart and decided what to do based on your suggestions. I was it was very helpful. So thank you for that. Sorry for the zippers. I know some people don't like them and there's nothing I can do. Okay. Don't spill the coffee on the stitching. All right. The other thing I've been working, so now we'll go to the things I've been working on. Um, I, I don't know how much I've done on this. I think I worked on this in May, but I'm not completely convinced of that. I think so. Cause I think I bought this at Stitchville. I don't remember. It was either April or May. Um, but this is called the anniversary because Chris and I had our 25th anniversary back in 2022. And I never did anything to like, um, you know, memorialize it or whatever. Um, so I found this and I just thought it was really cute. I love the colors. I'm not doing it as called for. I'm just, because it's a lot of colors um, and it's a lot of over dyes and I just didn't want to spend the money. And I have a ton of, um, this is my stash. And this doesn't include what's in the projects already. I know that looks like a messy, messy wild mess, but um, I have a lot of colors. And so I didn't want to buy things. So I just picked things from my stash. Um, so, and I am changing the color of, I changed the color of the house. The suggested color, it looks really cute on here. But when I looked at it in person, it was almost more of a rust. And I didn't like that. So I did change um, that to be more of, I don't know, you can see here. I made it like a little more like a burgundy. Does that help? Um, I just think it's so cute. I did mess something up. I had to take it out. I fixed it already. I had messed up this tree. I had a, um, a whole like stitch row over. Um, so I took it out and redid the tree. So yeah, this, um, and it's, I'm stitching, I'm basically only stitching on 18 count Ada these days. Um, I really like the way my stitches look on it and I only have to use two threads. I like the coverage that I get both from DMC floss and from overdyed. So if you're not familiar, DMC, it looks like this. This is what people are more familiar with. It's what you'd pick up at Walmart or um, like Hobby Lobby. I get mine at Hobby Lobby. Um, that's what that is. Sorry if the light is not great. Um, but then there's overdyeds, which are these that I just showed you. And so they're, um, different companies make them, but a lot of times you get this like variegation in them. I don't know if you can see in that one, like it's like different shades of color within the same skein. Can you kind of see that? I mean, you can kind of see it maybe in this one. It's got just different shades of gold, um, different shades of pink in, and it's in one, um, one skein that one's really easier to see Let me cover my face because it's focusing on me and the light is not good here we go what if i do that what if i do that can you kind of see it I don't know. it's hard to show it's hard to show just trust me when i tell you there you can kind of see it there so it's just like different colors um in the same skein and the difference is that the over dyes are you know hand dyed so more work goes into them now my light is doing weird stuff Oh golly. Oh golly. There we go. Um, the overdyes are more expensive basically because they take more work to make and it's, you know, multiple colors and it's hand dye, yada, yada. Um, and so they can be like two thirty to like two seventy. Sometimes if they're like silk, they can be really expensive, like $5 a skein. And I just don't want to spend a lot of money on those. So that's why a lot of times I will work in, um, DMC or I'll just work on with colors that I already have. So, Okay, so that's just a little side tangent note on what I mean when I, if you're not like an active cross stitcher, that's what I'm talking about when I'm saying over dyed versus DMC. Um, and because the anniversary had so many colors, um, I really didn't want to buy. I will buy new over dyes if I really need one, but I try to work from my stash initially. 
Okay. Then, um, this one I've been working on. Well, there's two. Wait, where's the other one? Oh, okay. I'll show you these two first. I really, it hit July and I was like, I really want to start a Halloween piece. I think I've mentioned to you before, I've never done a Halloween piece. Um, the church that we used to go to in New Jersey did not celebrate Halloween. Um, and so I never like, and that was when I was doing a lot of cross stitch. And so I never did a Halloween piece. Um, and then we moved to Minnesota and the church we went to here celebrated Halloween, but then I wasn't really cross stitching as much. So I just never really did a Halloween piece. So this year I was like, I really want to do a Halloween piece. And so, um, when July hit, I was like, now seems like a good time. So if you remember, this is when we've had this conversation before I found this at a thrift store and it's, um, by the cricket collection, cross side cricket number 187, um, originally from frames and frames and stitches in Brooklyn park, which I don't even know that that exists anymore. Um, but yeah, so there it is. It's super cute. I was not able, those buttons, some of them exist still online, but they're expensive. I was like, I don't want to spend that much on this project. So I got from Etsy. Um, this could be in my haul, but I'm not going to wait for that. I got it from an Etsy seller named, um, holiday mischief, Tammy coffee. Here's her card. She has a lot of buttons. It was great. Fast shipping. It was really nicely packaged. Although I've unpackaged it now because I was excited to look through. But I got this like um, from Buttons Galore. It was a pack. And I think it was like $6 for the whole pack. Um, yeah, so great. So you can kind of see, I mean, they're super cute. There's like, um, some of them are flat. Some of them are not. Um, there's ghosts. There's a black cat. There's a cauldron that I absolutely love. This is the cauldron. So cute. So I am going to make do. So this is the pumpkin I'm probably going to use. It's so cute. It has a bat carved into it. Um, and there's like a moon, a moon button. So I'm just going to make do um, with these and not spend, you know, several, three to five dollars a button. That's just not, not a good way to use my money um, to kind of, you know, um, I did, I was able to get in that pack one that looks very similar to that bat, which was fun. But yeah, so I'm going to make do with what I got in that pack and it's going to look just as cute. So here's what I have so far. Let me tell you that house, that is some heavy duty stitching. Um, I've been working on this a lot and it, it has taken me a long time. Um, and I've only done like up here just in that one. Um, it is a variegated color. I did substitute from stash. I'm using, um, I think it's called Sable. Um, hold on, please hold. Oh, oh boy. I am using, it's by the Gentle Art Sable. And that's what's giving me the variegation. That's similar to what they have in their pattern here. I'll show you what I have. This is, I don't iron my projects. I iron them once at the end because I don't want to flatten my stitches. So sorry if that bothers anyone. But anyway, this is my start. Um, there we go. So you can see I have been working hard and it is taking a long time. And this is my first time stitching on a fun, um, over not like hand dyed fabric. Um, it is 18 count by Hollis Hands create. I bought it on Etsy and it's called Tornado 18 count by Fox and Rabbit. Sorry, it's from Hollis Hands Create and that's who did it, I guess, Fox and Rabbit Tornado. So you can see there's like um, some gray mixed into like this khaki background. And when I picked it up, I was like, oh, that'd be so good for a Halloween piece. And then I found this and so it was the plan. So there you go. I'm actually acting on a plan. So yay for me. <laughs> Oh, and I made um, some needle minders. I actually need to get slightly stronger magnets, but I thought that one was really cute. I bought a pack of um, flat buttons with like um, pictures and things online. And so that's one I made for Halloween. I thought that was cute. Okay, so that is my Halloween piece. Um, oh, and then the name of it is Three Gables. That's the name of the pattern. Okay. Mm. 
Now I will show you um, flea market flowers. So this is the big one that I've been working on. Um, if you remember, this was a stitch along. I didn't do it as a stitch along. I came to the party late, um, but someone, one of you sent this to me. Thank you so much. And so I'm making great progress on it. Um, here's what I have. So, oh, oh, here's the pattern, not the pattern, the picture. And this is what I have so far. Now I divvied up the pattern which I can also show you. Um, I just made a black and white copy and I divvied it up by months. I did not, you can see, I did not do June at all. It's completely blank. And then I skipped ahead. I learned when I was, uh, when I was a scrapbooker, I learned from our, my scrapbooking coach, if you will. Um, they said, you know, like, don't, don't try to catch up to where you should be. Like just start where you are and then you can always go back and like make up what you missed. So that's what I'm doing. I started in July. I was like, I'm in July. I'm going to start in July. I can go back and do June, which I will do. Um, so yeah, so this is July and this is where I'm currently stitching. It's a blue flower. And then August will actually take me up here. And then I'll try to, um, you know, work on June as I go, or if I have to, it only goes through October. I can always do no this in November. We'll see. We'll see what I'm able to do. Um, so yeah. So that's what I have so far. Love this though. I love the colors. I'm really enjoying stitching on it. Again, I'm doing on an 18 count Ada. It's just white Ada. Um, I think I bought it at Stitchville, which boohoo is now closed. That's very sad. Um, so yeah. Okay, the last project I wanna show you, um, you know, as far as works in progress is actually another new start. So I have the Halloween house, the Gables it's called, I call it Halloween house, and then this one. And this is my first Prairie Schooler sample that I've, sampler or Santa that I've ever done. I have a few. Um, I got this one at Stitchville before it closed. And I love it because it has bunnies on it. I mean, Santa and bunnies, like how do you beat that, you know? <laughs> If you watch my thrifting channel, you know I love bunnies. So that's why I decided to start with this one. I'm like, if I only ever do one, that's the right one for me. <laughs> so I only have a tiny start on it. I wanted to do a Christmas in July um, project. That's why I started this. So yeah, so here, here's my start. Um, you can see I'm working on this bunny. And I did his like waist. I like to skip around um, because it gets like, gets to be a lot like doing like one big color. It's like the house on the Halloween house. Just, I kind of get bored and I don't want to like get so bored that I stop stitching on something. So yeah, so that's why I like to skip around a little. Okay, now on to um, haul. So I went to Hobby Lobby because I needed several DMC colors for the Halloween house because I'm doing the house in an over dye, but it's actually charted with mostly DMC. Um, this type of, you know, this type of floss, it's charted with mostly those and I didn't have most of the colors. Now those are much less expensive. They cost like under a dollar at either um, Hobby Lobby or Walmart or if you get them online. Um, so I went to Hobby Lobby, got a bunch of colors that I needed, but while I was there, they were having a huge sale, a clearance, and I found two patterns, um, two kits. Oh my God, they're so cute. Um, I really love these. So this one says Precious Cargo, ah! and it's little Grogu in a little pouch. Like, I think the Mandalorian carries that. I just like him, I think he's cute. And then here's one, it says The Child, also from Star Wars, Mandalorian. So yes, those are, and they were, uh, this one was $3.99, this was $4.99, it comes with fabric, which I will probably, for something so tiny, I'm probably just gonna stitch it on the kit fabric. Um, and this one's a blue one, same thing, I don't wanna, spend money to get, you know, but I might do three strands of floss. Usually 14 count is charted with 
two strands, but it, it looks like I have enough. I might do three strands because I like my stitches to be like a little fluffy. I don't, I don't want to see such a clear X. I know some people like that. It's just a stylistic thing. Um, I happen to prefer, you know, mine to be like fluffier stitches. So I will probably um, do it on the, the fabric that was given and see if I have enough to increase my number of floss threads. If not, I'll just deal with it. So, or I could always get I don't know. I'll figure it out. But that's not, I'm not planning to do those anytime soon because I want to get through some of these other things that I have started. So um, those will just go in my stash. I picked them up because they were on sale. Okay. So my plan, my only plan really is to keep going. I would like to get to the end of July on flea market flowers before the end of July. <laughs> and it's currently, I think it's July 20th or 21st. It's the 21st. It's Sunday. You'll probably see this tonight. Um, so this is like fresh off the press when you see this. Um, so my plan is hopefully in the next 10 days to finish the July section of flea market flowers. And then I'd also like to get a good amount done on Santa. Um, and obviously just keep going with the Halloween house. I don't know if I'll get that done by Halloween. I would love to get it done by Halloween. And that's kind of a goal, but... We'll see. It's so, such a lot of stitches in the house that just taking a long time. So, so those are my plans as far as the projects I already have started. Um, I don't know that I'll stitch on my family sampler right now because I really want to keep up with flea market flowers. I also would like to catch up with my temperature stitch, which is completely missing June. I'm pretty sure I got to the end of May and it was on track. Um, I could show that to you. I don't have it here, so I'll show it to you in the next video. Um, but I'd like to get June started caught up I don't know I should actually just start with like July 21st but that one's a little harder because of how it, I, it's hard to explain but it's like one section leads into the next leads into the next so we'll see if I can figure it out anyway so that is another plan but then another plan I have this is for July 24th I believe it was Carol and Stitchy Corner or it could have been the novel stitcher I can't remember those are two that I watch like mainly cat uh cat crazy creations the novel stitcher carolyn stitchy corner and the stitching mommy those are like the youtubes that i watch a lot of um anyway and it so it's one of those i don't think it was the stitching mommy i'm pretty sure it was either carolyn stitchy corner or the novel stitcher announced that there's going to be a stitch along and it's um christmas house it might have been the novel stitcher. i don't know i'll figure it out and i'll tell you next time I'm, um I'll either film another video in a week or two. That's my goal. Um, but anyway, so I wanted to participate in that. So it's find a, a Christmas pattern, any Christmas pattern that has a house in it and stitch that. And so I have this magazine. It is um, Just Cross Stitch from December 2022. And it's this super cute little house in a wreath called Christmas at the Cabin, which is so fitting for Minnesota. Um, if you're unaware, many, many, many people in Minnesota have cabins and they go to them every weekend in the summer. So super cute. Um, so I actually have some of the colors. It's charted, I believe, in mostly DMC. Um, but I don't want to do the wreath. I don't know if you can tell, but it's like a lot of popcorn stitching. I am going to get an over-dyed variegated floss one of these um, and do the wreath in that because I don't want to have to deal with popcorn stitching. I did that on that um, nest and eggs and it was terrible. I did not enjoy it. So anyway, so I'm going to get a green that's just variegated and be able to stitch through on that. So that's the only change I'm planning to make. So yeah, so when I get the details of that, I know it's starting July 24th. <laughs> so I need to get... Um, I probably won't have the green by then, but I have other colors that I can start with. Um, yeah, and um, I will try to tell you the details of that if I, I won't be filming before then because it's this week, um, but maybe I could post it on my Instagram or something. So anyway, um, yeah, so those are my updates. Sorry that it's been so long. Um, wasn't stitching, so can't really film a cross stitch video when you're not cross stitching. <laughs> So anyway, I hope you're doing well. I hope you're finding time to craft or stitch or whatever you enjoy to do. And um, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for joining me. And I will see you in my next update, which hopefully will not be three months from now. I'm hoping like every one or two weeks through the summer at least. So, all right. And my videos will be shorter. I know this is not normal like floss tube length, but that's okay. So anyway, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye. <laughs>